are you ready for a day at the slave farm? No, but I'm going anyway. <laughs> There's 12 hours to go, buddy. Oh, man.
I just wanted to show you how this works. Basically, in this second cut, you get all the organic soil out, all the black dirt. Some people just call it topsoil. Most people call it topsoil. But sometimes there's organic dirt that's even more coarse than topsoil. You could see here this dirt has a more reddish tint. As soon as I see that reddish tint, I stop because here in East Texas, you have to get this black dirt out or you start to get cracks in the ground. Um, maybe I could even find some cracks here to show you what they look like. Here's one. You can see that there, it's beginning to crack. Over there, it's cracking. Right here, it's cracking. So what you do is you get this black dirt out, and this black dirt could be at all different heights. Like right here in this corner, it's about a foot down. Up there in that corner, it's only about four inches down. But over in this corner, it's three and a half feet down, maybe for like 10 feet right here in the corner. So you gotta make sure, you could see even there's roots down there. All the way down there, about three and a half feet down, roots went down there because that black dirt went down there. And then it just pitches up 10 feet along this edge. Once all this is done, I'll level this out um, pretty much down to the inch, all at the same height. And then I'm gonna bring select fill in, which does not crack. That's what they do in East Texas. Once you get all this black dirt out, you bring in select fill and it goes right up to the height of under the slab. You need to do a six inch slab in East Texas and you need to put a lot of rebar in it. We already ordered the rebar. I ordered number five rebar for in the footing and number four rebar, one foot on center for the slab.